Hello and welcome to this episode of the How to Pronounce series. Today we're looking at the SH sound. To make the SH sound you want to bring the front of the tongue close to that ridge that's sort of just behind the top teeth and then back ever so slightly and it's not the very tip of the tongue that we're using for this sound it's the the front part just behind the tip um, the the letter s when we pronounce the s as a s that's using the tip of the tongue on the ridge above the top teeth but what we need to do is move up a little bit on the mouth and just use the bit of the tongue that's slightly behind there to make this sh sound so it needs to be a little different to the s this sound is sh so hopefully you can hear the difference between those two um, it's subtle it's all about tongue placement really um, if you check the description below you will find a video which will help you to focus on just that thing the distinction between these two sounds um, so we won't dwell on that for too much today uh, we'll just focus on that shh um, the important thing is that we're letting out air over the tongue through that gap as we make the sound and we're not vibrating the throat so this shh sound occurs at the beginning in the middle and at the end of words in English such as these examples shirt fashion dish the sh sound is very commonly found before vowels such as in these example words sheep short shell shoot shine and it also occurs with other consonants in clusters such as in the words shrine and shrink with the r so shr and it also occurs with a t at the end of words such as mashed and bashed so this is a common consonant cluster when we're looking at the past tense of many verbs. So that was our brief introduction to sh. As with all of the sounds in English, um, it benefits from a little practice, particularly at the beginning. Uh, it's important to think about tongue placement with this particular sound. And as I said earlier, there'll be some links in the description below to take you to other useful videos which will help you to distinguish sh from s. Okay, that's enough for this video. Have a lovely day.